Now come to the third line, against the north wind. So why the person is feeling cold? Because the cold north wind was blowing. Tired. So he was tired naturally throughout the whole day. He was in the battlefield. So the person was now feeling very tired. So now what he is actually wanting? He has said, Yet, so the rest had seemed the sweetest thing under the roof. So you see that in the such a situation to him, when the soldier is cold, hung, cold, hungry and tired, then your body and your mind, that is both physically and mentally, he is wanting rest. And rest is now the most sweetest thing to him. As for now in the newspaper, you are seeing the headlines that the migrants laborers are coming from here and there. And now what is the most sweetest thing now to them? Not job, not money. The most sweetest thing to them is now some food and to reach home as early as possible. Actually, what should be the sweetest thing of a life that depends on the situation of you? So if you are in a very good situation or in a healthy situation, then what should be the sweetest thing of your life? Uh, would not be the same thing when you are in a very odd position. So in this situation, the soldier is feeling that the rest under a roof is the most sweetest thing in his life. Then come to the second stanza. Then at the end, I had food, fire and rest. So the poet in the evening, the soldier reached to an inn and there in the inn he got food, so that is that was necessary for your hunger. He got fire that was necessary to keep him warm from coldness in the outside air, and rest that was necessary for his tiredness. So all the basic needs at that time was fulfilled in the inn. Knowing how hungry, cold and tired was I, Actually getting those things, at that time he could feel that how urgently, how dearly he was in need of those things. Actually, we feel our need when we are satisfied with the need. A person could feel how hungry he was when he would be given a plate full of rice. At that time he could feel that after eating up the rice and the full plate rice, he could feel that how hungry he was. So now at the end, after getting all the basic requirements for the day, the person, the soldier could feel how dearly he was wanting those things. All of the night was quite buried out. Buried out means all of the night was quite silent. No sound, no other kinds of disturbance was coming inside the inn. And he was greatly protected. He is in the inn. He had no connections with the outer world. Try to understand. In the inside world, it is all security. In the inside the inn, it is all security, it is all rest, it is all kinds of satisfaction. But the outside world, there is the full of insecurity. Death may come at any time. And there is the, uh, there is the tone of deprivation also there. There is the tone of lack of basic amenities there. So inside the inn, the person was disconnected from the outside world. Therefore, the term, the word 
batted out has been used not made in not nor cause of many no sorry uh, and all of the night is quite batted out except the tone would change with the word except underline the word an owl's cry must melancholy cry underline this except an owl's cry must melancholy cry this is the change of tone of the poem suddenly the soldier heard an owl's cry what type of the nature of the owl's cry the nature as uh, quite melancholic that is quite sad it is quite brooding one so therefore a sad tune entered within her his heart through his ears shaken out long and clear up in the hill actually the sound is coming from the top of the hill where the night bird was there among the trees and bushes and it shook out the night it shook out the calmness the peacefulness of the atmosphere actually the cry was so poignant that it was conveying something to this soldier no merinot nor cause of merriment the owl's cry reminded the person that there is nothing to be merry there is no cause of merriment there is nothing to enjoy there because so many people so many persons are suffering there outside so how can you enjoy your life inside and in where there are so many outside there just try to compare the situation in this time where so many laborers so many small scale income people are suffering there so you can't enjoy your life in your home you are forced to be there in your home but you can enjoy these kinds of forceful staying in your home because the outside world people are suffering so in the same situation like the uh, soldier as uh, feeling pain within his heart inside the inn but one telling me plain what i escape the owl's cry told the soldier plainly bluntly what he had escaped that is what things all the other people who are there outside are suffering but this person this soldier had escaped the suffering and others could not that night as in i went that is other could not escape suffering but this person was so fortunate to escape the suffering so within himself or within his mind the person is feeling a kinds of tense situations a kinds of guilty consciousness for his escape for his rest inside the end and when his mind is attacked with this guilty consciousness what happen he would feel remorse he would be more painful within his heart that he was not doing um, anything right actually this is called the expansion of the feelings expansions of the individual a uh, consciousness to a universal consciousness it is an expansions of the mind and for this expansions of the mind the person was feeling pain within himself for those persons who were there outside in that cold night and owl's cry was plainly speaking for those persons now watch the third video